Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today we are reading The Remarried Empress episode 13, 14, and 15. If this is your first time tuning in, feel free to tune off, catch up on episode 1 to 12. I did do a webtoon reading for those here on my YouTube channel, so definitely check them out or feel free to go to webtoon.com, The Remarried Empress, to read all the release and recent release episode on there as well. Sorry, I need a little breather. <laughs> but thank you so much for tuning in, you guys. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, just a quick disclaimer and letting you guys know briefly that I do do these webtoon readings just for fun. It is a way for me to kind of like reach out to the community to see what you guys feel about the Remarried Empress. And it also works on my English pronunciation. Um, just a little background about myself is that I was born and raised in the United States, but my first language taught to me was Vietnamese by my grandmother. So I had a very bad accent and I worked really hard starting in middle school all the way to now to kind of, kind of like get rid of my Vietnamese accent. Uh, I was bullied a lot for it. So here I am and I'm trying to better my English every day. So definitely be a little bit more mindful about that. I know it's kind of tough and weird to watch and listen to someone read webtoons, but it means so much that I have a, a huge community starting to gather supporting what I do. And it means so much, you guys. Thank you so much for leaving tons of likes and comments and motivating me to read and continue reading webtoons and i'm so excited to start reading more other different type of uh webtoons as well such as midnight poppy land lure olympus even maybe some horror who knows but i will upload them soon hopefully you guys enjoy them let's get started all right guys so here is our recap. Where we last la left off was when Sovetsu, Rashta, aka Trashta, someone in the comments left that, and I think that name is so fitting for Rashta, Trashta. And of course, Prince Henry was there with Navier, the Empress. And Prince Henry actually danced with the Empress. Of course, later on, the Emperor and the Empress dance together and turn around. Suddenly, Rash just start crying. And it was because Prince Henry rejected her to, to dance with her. So, I swear I should take a shot of water <laughs> each time I see and witness her crying. Like, how annoying can she get? Who knows? The Empress has some issues. Maybe he just, I don't know. We're not going to judge him. We're just going to continue reading. So let's go ahead and start episode 13. Murmur, murmur. It's like a lot of lot of whispering going on. Huh? Why did you deceive me? Didn't I tell you I was looking for a precious friend? Is it acceptable for a servant to deliberately fool a royalty in the Eastern Empire? Uh, uh, I didn't mean... Um, I... However... Okay. What you said wasn't a complete lie, now was it? I... I... Pardon? She's pretty scared. <laughs> you did know some of the letter's contents. You weren't my anonymous pen pal, but you do know the real recipients of my letters, don't you? Very cunning. Perhaps the recipient is your master. Huh. Or someone your master knows. <laughs> Full body chills. Oh my gosh. You're surprisingly perceptive, Prince Henry. From the content of the letters, I thought you were just a flippant person. <laughs> Something just kind of rubs me off as uh, like Rashta is not a very clueless type of person that she's actually a spy, you know, that's my that's my feeling right now. Lady Cherini is your lady in waiting. Yes. 
Yes, I'm the one you've been looking for, your highness. I can easily prove it to you if you don't believe me. Huh? No, it's quite all right. I'm sure someone like you wouldn't lie about something like this. Prince Henry, does he... Ugh, isn't she an absolute hussy? Your Majesty, will you let her get away with this? Being His Majesty's mistress isn't enough for her, is it? I can't believe she lied to make friends with a prince of another kingdom. Prince Henry knows Russia was not, was lying, so there's no need to be so upset. Pardon? Do you mean to say that Prince Henry was only pretending to go along with her? I don't think he let anyone fool him the same way twice. But, why go along with it? The Remarried Empress, Episode 13 it's already been two days since Queen's last visit. <sighs> Are you waiting for Queen, Your Majesty? It's time you get ready. A special banquet is held for very important guests on the last day of the New Year's celebration. As the members continuously change, a dinner is held the night previous so we can familiarize ourselves with their faces. I'm always so grateful to you, Countess Elisa. The honor is mine. It seems Prince Henry and Grand Duke Kaufman will, will attract the most attention at this year's banquet. Prince Henry is always at the center of the attention with so many rumors whirling around him. About him. And Grand Duke Kaufman is the only guest from a different continent. All that's known about him is that he's a Grand Duke of Lute, a desert nation. And that he's an exchange student who graduated at the top of his class from the Academy of Magic. This is troubling. Little is known about Lute court etiquette. Click, click. Sister! Click. Oh. Again. Oops. <laughs> I mean, your majesty, I was just so happy to see you. <laughs> she wasn't in the guest list for tomorrow's banquet. Did Suvashu let her tag along? The cold shoulder, bro. The cold shoulder. <gasps> you should have come earlier, your majesty. It was wild. What happened? Well, it seems that the rumor about Prince Henry being a Casanova is true. He treated Lady Rashta with so much tenderness and right in front of the Emperor. He was as sweet as cream to her. As sweet as a cream puff? Huh. The atmosphere is... Hmm. It's oddly tense. You're being very disrespectful, Prince Henry. Clink. Huh. That's disrespectful. What's disrespectful about pointing out her mistakes? She said she's a recipient of my letters, but she doesn't seem to know the half of it. If she was impersonating my lady, isn't it only natural that I try to protect my lady's honor? And I'm a man. Oh... Although, my pen pal might be a gentleman instead of a lady. I'm feeling terribly offended. Huh. Uh. By your servant and by Lady Rashta, are you sliding the, the Western Kingdom or me? Rashta clearly told you that she had momentarily gotten the contents of the letters mixed up. <sighs> And I clearly said that it's bizarre that my pen pal would get over half of the letter's contents confused. Prince Henry. Everyone, am I the strange one here? Yesterday, Lady Rashta here said that herself that she was recipients of my letters. And I trusted her words without an inkling of suspicions because I thought a distinguished lady such as herself wouldn't lie. And as Princess Cersei put it, 
I treated her as sweetly as a cream puff. He has very good hearing. <laughs> You're so mean. It's because... It's because I'm not high social standing of sophisticated and that's why you're, you're drawing a line. Uh, huh? What is she talking about? Should I get involved? Grand Duke Kaufman of Luth. <laughs> he has a very cold stare, you guys. Like, I had to move up my glasses for that. <laughs> What is he looking at? More importantly, I didn't want to get involved, but I should correct everyone's misunderstanding. Your Majesty, I know the individual Prince Henry was sending letters to not to it's not Rasha. Huh? You shouldn't take Prince Henry's side because you despise Rasha, Empress. It seems the Emperor only believes the words that comes out of Lady Rasha's mouth. How frustrating it must be for you, your majesty. That's enough. Slush. Homeboy literally pulled out a sword. <laughs> okay, so uh, it's about to get bloody in here, you guys. Prince Henry, I challenge you to a duel for tarnishing my woman's honor. I mean, that's pretty cute, but... Uh, uh, can I leave this room safely even if, if I kill you? Huh. If so, I accept your challenge. To be continued. What a sight. Your Majesty, please calm yourself. Uh, and Prince Henry, you are our guest. Please, would the both of you stop? Bloop. We'll end dinner here. Thank you, everyone, for coming today. Click, click. <sighs> I couldn't stomach any food with how tense it was in there. I hope we can chat more tomorrow, your majesty. As do I. I hope you can make it tomorrow too, Princess Cersei. Thank you for coming, your majesty. <gasps> Thank you for coming, your majesty. Let's have fun tomorrow too. What is she doing? What is it, sister? Uh, oh, Grand Duke Kaufman, will you be coming to tomorrow's special banquet? She's imitating me. Huh. Rasta, I was going to ask you this after the New Year ceremony, but I'll ask you now since you're here. Why have you been lying and telling other people that I sent you a gift? Why am, why am I have I been lying? It's true that you sent me a gift to welcome me as his majesty's mistress. I don't know how such a misunderstanding occurred, but if I but I never sent you any gift. What do you mean? Are you still angry at me about the letters incident? I was only trying to help you because it seemed like you didn't want others to know. So she knew it was me. Why are you always so mean to me? What's going on? Why is Rasha crying? I need a sip of water. <laughs> I asked her why she lied about me sending her a gift when I've never sent her one. Can't you just overlook it? How can I when the name of the Empress is falsely being used? Don't blame Rashta. It's my fault for sending a gift in your name. Did you really, your majesty? Yes, it seems you've been blamed for something you didn't do. It's okay, your majesty. I'm so touched that you did that for me. 
I'm the one who has been become a laughing stock. Yet he apologizes to Rashda, and she's touched. If you're the one who wronged me, I should be blaming you. You've admitted your fault. And being the emperor doesn't mean you can misappropriate someone's name. So what is it that you want? An apology. Take responsibility for the false information Rashda has spread and tell people it wasn't me. Navier, afraid you lose face? Well, I've already lost mind. If sending a gift to Rashda was all it took to make you lose face, how peddling your honor is indeed. He's such a. Someone, someone just Prince Henry. Anyone just come in there and just. Like, just knock him out. Like, oh my gosh. I can't. Then I'm sure it'd be a peddling task for you to tell everyone it wasn't me. And do make haste. Why are you being so petty? You didn't used to be like this. You took the words right out of my mouth. And don't disrespect me, Subeshu. Ooh, the tension is getting real. This is new. How would it feel if she were to call my name in that voice and manner? She looked down at me with the same cold gaze while I'm on my knees kissing her hand. How would it feel to obey her orders and submit to and defy her? Kind of weird. <laughs> Are you jealous of her? <laughs> the Emperor of the Eastern Empire has bad taste. Don't fright, Your Majesty. I'll be sure to spread the news of this truth far and wide. Your reputation as the Empress won't be smeared because of the Emperor's blunder. What? Your Highness, so here you are. Dash. I asked to return you return early because of an urgent matter. Ah, yes, that's right. I'll see you tomorrow then. <laughs> the Remarried Empress, Episode Fourteen. Weren't you working to rebuild your reputation? Is this what rebuild means to you? Just do as you've always done. Use covert, not overt tactics. Why make things difficult for yourself? And did you have to be so overt with the Emperor of the Eastern Empire? All of our spying will have been for nothing with you being so obvious, Your Highness. What are you going to hit me? Stay still. Give this letter to Erdi. Squawk. Squawk. Oh, so cute. It's a cute little furry. I promise to stay out of trouble. So go give it to him. It's a covert tactic, just as you wish. Prince Henry. It's nothing like his rumors. He's surprisingly a good person. He is. He knew immediately that that slave and her servants were lying. Yes, he's a jolly character, but not flippant. He's quite serious at times as well. I'm just relieved that that slave's lies were revealed. I hope the nobles who visited her came to their senses. I doubt it. Barden Lante was spinning a different tale. Vice Captain of the Royal Guard, Artina. What? What did he say? The lady that Lady Rasha was so lovely and charming that His Majesty and Prince Henry almost dueled over her. Ugh, I hate that tramp so much. Ooh, <laughs> Laura, please watch your tongue. But there's no other way to express how I feel. She is a total vibe. Queen, it's been so long. I've missed you. Squee. The bird is so odd. Look at the way it freezes up whenever Her Majesty hugs it. Oh. I revealed who I am, so I could lose the bet. But you aren't even participating. Why? Ugh. Let's remain pin pals. 
Don't be angry, queen. I know your owner is a good person. But the moment we meet in person, it will be the empress of the eastern empire meeting the prince of the western kingdom. Because of Rashta and Sovashu, I've become the subject of some nasty gossips. I'd like to avoid adding fuel to a fire about me and Prince Henry, who is infamous for being a Casanova. But, but, please understand. What? I can't go to the special banquet? We can only invite 20 guests to the special banquet. The Empress and I already have already sent invitations to 10 guests each. Can't you squeeze in one more guest, your majesty? Surely you can make an exception. The special banquet won't be special anymore if I allow exceptions. Uh, I told people at the party that I'd also be attending the special banquet. Uh, you should have asked me first. I thought it would be, a strange, to, would be strange to ask when it should be a given since I'm your majesty's mistress. <laughs> Amen to that. But you're still not saying that I can go. <laughs> I'm sorry, Rashda. Don't cry. <sighs> Very well. I'll ask the Empress if you can go instead of one of her guests. Okay, so he can't drop anyone from his list, but he can drop someone from hers. Like he wants to. Let's, oh. She better said no. She better say no. <laughs> you asked to see me about the ba special banquet? <gasps> sparkle, sparkle. Wow. Could you make room on your guest list for one more person? Another, another guest? Did the high priest Verimri or the high wizard Kalenzello say that they could attend? If so... We'll have to give them a seat at the table, even if it means asking another guest to give up their place. No. I'd like Rasha to attend the banquet. Oof. That glare, that glare says it all. I'm afraid that not that's not possible, your majesty. It would be a difficult request to make of our guest, even if we wanted to invite the high priest or high wizard. How can we ask a guest to give up their place for your mistress. Why are you asking me to do something that even you cannot do as her lover? Swivel away. Episode 15 of the Remarried Empress. The final day of the New Year's ceremony. The special banquet is being held in the Red Rose Room. He is very handsome though, like, you see his outfit and his glare, like, wow. Is a food to your liking, your majesty? It seems like he's not completely ignoring me this time. Is this how you do things in the Eastern Empire? I beg your pardon? In Looped. The Emona and Emote put on a united front. I do not know how, if this says Emona or Emote or Emote or like, I'm going to say Emona and Emote. Okay, guys? Don't kill me. <laughs> the king and queen put on a united front. How interesting. Do you know Lutanian? I only know a handful of basic words. In the kingdom of Lut, if the Emote's lover ever came to the attention of the Emona, she would have them executed immediately. <gasps> Unfortunately, in the Eastern Empire, not even the Empress can order an execution without reason. If she did, she would have to face the law. <sighs> it is unwise not to protect what is yours. Is he referring to how I was unable to keep Rashta in check yesterday? <laughs> if an empress of the Eastern Empire had a mistress killed on a whim, she would be stripped of her title and would most likely also face imprisonment. What do I possibly stand to gain from that? Why do others think I'm a I am pathetic when Sovashu is the one who took a mistress? 
my queen. Ah, oh, Prince Henry, are you enjoying the? I'd like to discuss something with you, if I may. Uh. Huh? I read Your Majesty's letter. I understand you would like to confine your, our friendship to our correspondence. Did you know that it was me you were exchanging letters with? How does he know? Please don't be alarmed, Your Majesty. It wasn't a slip up on your part. <laughs> then how? Both Lady Rashta and her servants, Cherini, knew the contents of the first few letters. So I guess a per that perhaps somebody who knew the contents of the of only the first few letters had informed Lady Rashta and her servant. I heard that one of your ladies in waiting recently started serving Lady Rashta. Huh. He was able to figure out that it was me simply based on that. Are you feeling well? You look upset. How could I not be? Someone who I consider to be a good friend is ignoring me in public. <sighs> to be honest, I don't have a lot of friends I can open up to. Since I'm popular, I have a lot of friends, and I'm always surrounded by people. You may think that I have never feel lonely. As a prince of the Western Empire. And next in line to the throne, there is no one I can truly open up to, because I must always be mindful of how other people see me. They can honestly really relate to that, so I'm not the only one who feels that way. That's why I was happy I had the opportunity to share my thoughts with you freely, not as a prince, but as myself. Since Your Majesty feels comfortable speaking to someone of my title, I looked forward to it even more. I felt the same way. Since I was the crown princess from an early age, it was difficult for me to confide in anyone. I understand how you feel, but corresponding through letters should prove to be enjoyable enough. Speaking face to face would prove to be even more enjoyable, my queen. I can even call Sabeshu a son of a. If that would help, <laughs> Sylvesu is a son of a. But in any case, I understand, Your Majesty. I will keep our friendship a secret. But please, don't ignore me when we do happen to cross, come across each other. I won't ask you to spend more time with me beyond these chance encounters. All that I ask is that you don't avoid me. I envy Lady Rasha's alluring silver hair and dark eyes. Doesn't her elegance remind you of the lilies of the valley? Banquet Hall. Since neither the Empress nor Duchess Tuania are here, I feel like I've become a social butterfly. Before I became a mistress, even my beauty was like a curse to me. But things are different in the palace. I have someone protecting me, and nobody can th threaten me. Lady Rasha, didn't you say you were invited to the special banquet? Uh, uh well, I declined the invitation. <laughs> I thought that it would be better for the Empire if someone who ha was better placed to represent us attended instead. Oh my, you are far too smart to remain a mere mistress. This girl is pretty clever at lying. Like, I give her that much props. I agree. The mistresses, mistresses of the previous emperors had no interest in affairs of the state, but you are different. You're so lovely. It's like a beautiful flower has bloomed in the Eastern Empire, Miss Rashta, Lady Rashta. <laughs> She's so easily flattered. It's only right that I do everything in my power to help the emperor. I too am a lady here. Nobody would dare threaten. She dropped her wine glass. Shanik, that's not possible. How? Why? Lady Rashta, are you feeling well? You look unwell. She is looking at this man. Why is that man here? 
to be continued. Alright guys, that is literally a wrap for episode 13, 14, and 15. Honestly, that was crazy. I really want to know what is going on. Why is Lady Rashta, Trashta, is suddenly so afraid of the man that she's looking at? Was that her former slave owner? Who is he? Or is he here to uncover who she really is? Maybe she's not a slave. Maybe she is, but she did something horrible and she's the most wanted person. So tune in next week, you guys, for the upcoming episode of the Remarried Empress episode 16, 17, and 18. I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Oh yeah, leave a thumbs up and subscribe too. And check out my other videos. Two, one, two, one, two, hurry. Oh my god, I got so lucky. Two, one, two, one, two. No, 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 no! Hold on, let me rage real quick. <laughs> I'm back. Oh my god. <laughs> I am sweating.